Today is a super huge day. Today, we become a two RV family. For how long? Well, that remains to be seen. But come along. We know you're pumped about finding out what our new rig is. Are you so excited, Dash? Yes? What do you think about all this? Uh. <laughs> yeah? Ready to go? Let's do this. You ready for this? As ready as I'm gonna be. This is either one of the craziest things we have ever done or one of the smartest to be determined. Bye bye Airstream. I feel like we're cheating on you. Laura and I were just having a conversation about getting a new RV and one of the things about the classic Airstream we have is that I mean, because we've been doing it as long as we have, and because uh, I'm like super OCD, it is so well optimized to the point where when we get to a campground, set up and breakdown are so fast. We've tried so many different accessories until we dialed in like the perfect accessories. It didn't matter whether that was like the right sewer hose or the right whatever, like we've got it so dialed in. And now we get to start over with something new and we get to re-optimize our living quarters. So that's gonna be an exciting new adventure, um, amongst other exciting things that you're about to find out about. Will anything be the same? Will anything be the same? Yes. Don't when... tell us more. Oh, okay. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. Guesses anyone? Oh, 
There's some pretty class A's. There's actually one we just toured just recently too. really think that we could part ways with Airstream. To be honest, we really seriously consider it. But at the end of the day, we just kind of feel like Airstream humans. What does Dash think about all this? He doesn't even know what to think, but he's not. Hello. What, what do you think? Hey, I can see it. It is literally <laughs> right behind these doors. So it's official. Let's go check it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so crazy. This is easily one of the craziest things we've done. But we do a lot of crazy things. Now we're gonna talk about some of the specs later, but right now we're about to start our walkthrough. Mercedes chassis. Oh, look at that. Nice. Meet the Wonder Local Van. We are so crazy. Oh my goodness. That's right, four wheel drive. It's pretty, isn't it? Pretty pretty. That is... What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> Dash, what do you think? He looks very Tommy Bahama. Yeah, he does, yeah. Right? Are you excited? Yeah? You ready to live in this thing? Your mom and dad are crazy, aren't they? <laughs> this is a big reason we went with a 2023. Four-wheel drive. Yeah. Want some? Want some water? Yeah. Thirsty? Yeah. Look, we have a new center here. Uh, yeah. So this is universal for all this stuff. Oh, okay. Just like buying any kind of vehicle or RV, it takes a little bit of time. So they've got some prep things now that we've finished the paperwork. So I'm starving and as Daniel has told you a hundred times, I get hangry. So we're gonna go grab a lunch, look and finish up and then come back and pick her up. Dash is sleeping. Um, are we just assuming that this one is also a her? Because we haven't talked about that yet. Yes. <laughs> I believe all vehicles are hers. I don't really know how I feel this way. Um, unlike the last one, though, we're going to have to come up with a name eventually. All right. We'll think about it. That's true. And if anybody has a comment uh, or wants to drop a comment about what they think we should name this new Airstream, leave a comment. Drop it down below. Okay, let's go get food. shop 
to come check out, but from the pictures on Google, I'm pretty sure you're not even going to know that it's vegan if I had to tell you. It looks amazing. just learned something new about me. Did we mention that we've been married over 10 years? I just assumed and I guess my assumption was wrong. So I was just telling Daniel before we leave he's gonna drive the van back to where we're going next and I'm gonna drive the truck. But I told him before we leave the Airstream dealership I really want to try to drive the van. Um, I'm really excited because I think that it's good. Obviously the van is easier to drive than towing our Airstream. We're like 50 something feet long when we tack the Airstream onto the truck. But Daniel, I was like, I've never driven a passenger van or anything like it. And he's like, you've never driven a U-Haul truck? No, I haven't driven a U-Haul truck. Like, have you driven a U-Haul truck? Because Daniel apparently thinks everybody has driven a U-Haul truck. I mean, anybody who's like, uh, ever moved i would think at some point has rented a u-haul like box trailer and moved some things um, i mean i've moved before obviously but i've either paid somebody to move my stuff or when i moved down to florida my dad drove the u-haul truck that's true so this is what it's like to grow up on different sides of the railroad track um <laughs> lord, lord grew up on the side of the railroad track where there's people to do it and i grew up on the side of the railroad tracks that was probably doing it for the people that paid people to do it <laughs> Either way, I'm super excited about trying to drive the van because it's a totally new experience for me. Alright, so that baby right there, the Airstream Atlas, is what a bunch of you guys thought we were probably going to get. The truth of the matter is that the reason we didn't select the Atlas is really for the same reason that we didn't opt for the 33 foot classic over the 30 classic. It's because while the bathroom was easily my favorite feature, I mean, the fact that it had this like amazing shower in there was incredible, but it also consumes a lot of the living space and we don't particularly spend a lot of time in the shower in the bathroom. So it was nice with the interstate to have more of that living space back. Uh, the other reason is that I kind of wanted a 4x4 because we want to do a little bit of off-roading. Um, and the Atlas doesn't come in a 4x4 chassis as it stands today. So because of... Oh, another reason. Another reason. I'm just throwing this out there. The kitchen! Um, the, it was the kitchen, right? So you've got a really cool kitchen area. But as crazy as it sounds it's actually bigger in the gt version as a longer counter in our interstate in our interstate um so it allows us to do more like food prep and things like that because we do plan on cooking quite a few meals doing some food prep in there as well so you kind of lose some of that in the atlas you don't lose some of that in the atlas the atlas has like basically no kitchen um it's maybe four feet by four feet like max it's ridiculously small on the flip side of that, if you don't plan on doing a ton of cooking indoors, um, because it does have a ton of 
storage underneath. You could bring your outdoor grill equipment and do a lot of the cooking outdoors, which I know a lot of people do anyways. Um, the other pro to the Atlas, obviously, is that big Murphy bed. I mean, obviously, uh, it is really, really cool that you've got this like really big bed that just pops out of the wall and drops down, and that's obviously super convenient to set up every night. So that was a pro for the Atlas and the pro column. Um, but yeah, overall, the, the pros for the Interstate GT, uh, we opted for the GT over the GL. Um, same reason, there's not as much counter space in the GT as there is in the G, no, in the GL as there is in the GT. See, I'm getting confused already. Um, yeah, so GT was uh, the version we opted for. Now, would we have gone with an X? Um, no. <laughs> I, I love the X. I do, and I know there's people, some people out there that are actually living in it um, full time. <laughs> what he means is he's seen a few men living, and maybe their girlfriends joining them every once in a while in yeah. the X. It's a man cave. I mean, the, the X is like rugged, cool, outdoorsy uh, man cave. It, that's that's the best way. She she nailed it. Yeah, it is. So um, maybe not for us. Let's go. Oh, did you bring the key? I did. <gasps> Good job. Yeah, we're set. We're now officially the owner of two RVs. Okay, so we would be remiss without telling you guys and introducing y'all to our friends here at Airstream of Tampa because this is our second rig that we have bought here, and there are reasons for that. So tell us about yourselves and why this place is awesome. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Beth Stinson, I'm here in Tampa. <laughs> um, it's a great place. I've been here for, oh my gosh, almost five years now, and we're an exclusive Airstream dealership, but you're not gonna find exclusive uh, stores many places, right? What so- What does exclusive store mean though? That means we only sell Airstream. Okay. So what's cool about that is sales, parts, service, all we know is Airstreams. So you know that when you come here, you're getting that little VIP treatment because all we do all day long is sell Airstreams and work on Airstreams. So it's a, it's a, it's a different experience here. Um, and we are the number one Airstream dealership in the US, which is also very important. And it's just fun being here. I mean, we have all these windows, we have lots of Airstreams to look at, we have a little museum over there, a theater. Um, we have Dash, which, I mean, come on. Uh, no, it's just, it's a great place. And the experience, I want all of my customers to have a wonderful experience when they come in and buy from me, so. Well, and we have definitely felt like that. And you sold us our first thing. Yes. And probably thought we were crazy people uh, when you met us. Oh. I was uh, yeah, right, crazy. right, Jessica, yeah. right. I did not think crazy. <laughs> uh, Beth thought we were crazy because we pulled up here in an SUV, and she's like, "I don't know, thirty foot." <laughs> oh, I know, Alex, but I love that SUV. Have our airstream with this, right? Yeah. After we fell in love with the glasses, <laughs> a hard no. Yeah, that was a hard no. Yeah, that was a hard no. But you, you made it work. Because you that was good advice. Out. Yeah, yeah we needed to change vehicles. And now you're experts. <laughs> and we could have gone anywhere in the entire country to buy an Airstream, and we chose Airstream from Tampa. Yep. That tells you a lot. Thank you guys are awesome. Thank exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm glad you came back. Now, if they're interested in an Airstream, what should they do? They should call Airstream of Tampa, 813-452-6344. Nice. And ask for yeah. Beth. And ask, for Beth. and ask for Beth, and you're going to talk to and Beth here. And ask for Beth. <laughs> well, and I think it's also very important to mention that they absolutely did not pay us to say any of this. We really do. No, like definitely. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get our airstream. <laughs> We're all about the details. They have a coffee machine here um, that serves Starbucks and. Uh, automated and I've hit this thing like three times today. It is awesome. And here's some of the other parts of the dealership here as well. You got an Atlas in there and kind of see that. And then there's an interstate, you got a towable trailer and then there's a base camp. You can see the names down below here. And then you've got like a little uh, trip down Memory Lane here. Going all the way back to, you've got some 1970s Argosy there. 
There's a 1960s Bambi, which we've seen at the international rally. Um, so cool. The vintage Airstreams are some of our favorites. 50s, 40s, all the way down to the 1930 Torpedo. Check that out. gonna go check it well do you want me to talk about that there's, yeah okay we're gonna go check out there's a 24x here that's used um, interstate 24x and that's kind of the more rugged version um, we've heard there's an outside storage box that the person that had it added to it and I kind of want to see that just because we, you can always use more storage so it'd be cool to see what it looks like so we're gonna check that out Check it out. Looks like there's actually an Atlas here right now too. They've got some pretty good inventory. They have the, the new Ridgeline uh, in as well. That's the newer Airstream. Um, and there's a version that comes with a pop top. Newer Airstream van. Newer Airstream van. It's a class B. Uh, it's on the Ram chassis and it has the pop top. So you have sleeping quarters down below and then you have the pop top up top, which is really, really cool. It's an option. You don't have to get it with that, but still cool. This is that used van Dave was telling you about. you're ever in a pinch and 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 a ladder to get to the roof although we don't keep anything on the roof yet yet but I also don't want to travel with a telescoping ladder because I would have nowhere to put it I'd have to keep it inside and that takes up valuable space inside <laughs> <All right. laughs> <Bless me. laughs> yeah Is looking for a used Interstate X, bam, they have one Airstream Tampa. It is awesome. Okay, this is pretty cool. Tommy Bahamas are already limited edition, but this is a Tommy Bahama Atlas that's here for sale too. This I think we should cool. show them around in here since I, we didn't get to look at this one like not other somebody else's unit last time. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay. All right. Really, really, really cool. So this was the teeny tiny kitchen that I was telling you about earlier. See, I just don't feel like we could function there. Although I will give you that this sink bigger, yeah. is bigger than my new one. It is. And it does have very cool trash can storage. Check this out. This is the trash can. Still baby sized, which I have complained about a million times, but well, not to mention, small. you know, you've got a fully reclining couch here, both seats recline, and you've got a pop-up TV right across from there. So, um, I mean, it's pretty easy to do movie night. Just chill here and pop it up. Movie night is not the reason we are doing RV life. I'm just saying. But you do need to see, A, Daniel's really cool phone rig, and B, this very large bathroom, which yes. is pretty dope. I mean, this shower. It is so cool. Is beautiful. Oh, and they have a teak floor mat too. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice bathroom. But, like Dee said before, 
Maybe we just don't shower enough, but the bathroom isn't a huge selling feature for us. It's a lot of living space that's taken up by something that we use like maybe 10% of the time. We definitely don't shower enough. Um, so if you're, you see us out in public and you want to give us a hug, um, hopefully we don't we smell apologize. at that point in time. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> just we shower. We'll see how much in the van. That's pretty steep. Yeah. Okay, it looks like the van is ready. One last thing, this is something okay. you don't always see. These are rare. We've seen them once before at the Tampa RV show last year, but this is the REI version of the Airstream base camp. Also a very limited number of these produced. See right here where it says uh, special edition. Fancy sauce. I know. I don't know if it's open or not, but oh, it is. We'll give it a lot of time sneak there, peek. But yeah. This is a little more rugged than a full-time rig, I if you ask good. me. Yeah. This is going to be our next rig when we downsize again. <laughs> yeah, I think we're currently pushing our limits in downsizing um, and aren't even 100% sure that this is going to work yet. So I think the, the base camp is not in our future. All right. She's ready! And this is actually a really interesting angle because you can see how big it is outside of like a regular parking spot, but I want to see how big it is compared to our truck because it's parked right next to it. So here's our new house! Yeah. Airstream Interstate. And here's our truck. Okay. So it looks like from here that they're like the same, but I think our truck isn't pulled up as far back as the van is parked. Yeah. So it's a couple feet shorter than the truck. Honestly, if you backed all the way up into the parking spot, which it's not, it wouldn't stick out all that far in a regular parking spot. That's pretty interesting. Okay, dear, are you ready to let me drive it? How scared are you? Level one to 10. What's past the 10? No, I'm just joking, I trust you. I think Dash will wait here with me, though. That's fair. Right, Dash? Mm. You want to go with Mommy? Nope. That's fair. All right, Mommy, here you go. You're taking that maiden voyage. You got this. All right, start it up. That seat's pretty high. It's interesting. You're up there. It's a lot higher than the truck. Is it? <laughs> Safety first, putting on my seatbelt. Can you believe we did this? No, this is insane. This is insane, right? But I'm so excited. <laughs> a new adventure. <laughs> Well, eventually you have to start turning, otherwise you're just gonna hit that airstream in front of you. So. <laughs> uh, I mean, eventually turn the wheels, eventually. You have insurance already, right, on this? Yes. Okay, good. Insurance is active, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. She is tearing it up in this parking lot. Look at that. <laughs> Your mommy's loco, but she needs to practice, right? You can do it. Initial thoughts about driving it? It seems really easy to drive. So, 
I definitely want to spend some time as Daniel's passenger because he's like the expert at driving bigger vehicles. Yeah, but then I think I'll be totally fine driving it, which I'm really happy about. It's gonna be great. Okay, but someone is sleepy again and it's time to head out. So, first of all, thanks for coming along with us today. We hope you thought that this was as fun as we did. We're definitely, definitely, definitely going to do a full walkthrough of this Airstream and all of the features. And we're gonna to talk to you a little bit more about why we chose this particular one, um, how we expect our life to change because of it, um, and, and some future plans. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that little bell so you'll be notified when our next video drops. But until next time, friend, make sure you wander local. Because as you know, it's good for the soul. We forgot to mention so obviously we didn't get here in the van we came here in the truck so we are taking the van back to my dad's place and then going back to our airstream for the night <sighs> it's not gonna be very long before we're full time in the van in fact we only have two nights left in our current airstream but we'll fill you in on all those details later See you soon.